the stereotype of accountants being boring, creative accountants are a bad thing, that's rubbish. Um, accounting is limiting, rubbish. Um, it's, it's, so much more, it's so much more exciting. The opportunities are so much bigger than we were ever taught that it was. And we talk about, we talk about opportunities and, and so many people do this, um, you know, like, oh, you know, take opportunities. But I know, like, if I think of my students and I also know for myself as well, there's a very big difference between saying you're sitting in your chair waiting for opportunities to come to you, right? Versus you're getting up out of your chair and going hunting for opportunities. There's two different things. Because when people were like, oh, Yvonne, you know, you must take opportunities. I'm like, I'm sitting, I'm waiting. Like, <laughs> People aren't like dropping by, you know, and handing me opportunities. I'm not, I'm not passing opportunities up. But the very big difference was like, wait a minute, Yvonne, you're sitting at home in your chair, yes. figuratively, waiting for opportunity because that's what we've been told. You'll get the CA profession and then opportunities are going to fall out the sky onto your lap. No, 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 no. You've got to get your ass out there. You've got to go hunting. You are so 100% no. right. And in fact, um, something that I like to bring up when having discussions on this, that, you know, that um, uh, as, a, as a point on this is, you know, some of the reading I've done has indicated, so they've done some studies tracking, I, uh, I mean, some studies tracking it, you know, but mm. the, 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 the point of this was um, high school students from when they graduated until they were about 40 or so, right? And they tracked them across a, a variety of metrics, so IQ, Oh. Um, demographics, especially to see where they would, uh, sorry, they, they track their business success, right? Success in business. And the key defining feature for the businesses that were successful was luck, right? Was luck. The overall was luck, really was luck. That's a little depressing. And, no, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. And the reason why, and I'm going to tie it back into it is, I then, if you take that, right? Like a quote I like by Seneca says that luck is what happens when opportunity means preparation. Right. Yeah. So, and, and that's quite true. You know, Gary Player said, yes, um, I was just the, more I practice, <laughs> yeah, the more I practice, the luckier I get. It's yeah. very, very true. It's very, uh, yeah. I like that one by Seneca where, uh, where luck is what happens when opportunity meets preparation. Because yeah. what do you have control over there? You have control over the preparation side, okay. right? You can do as much as you yeah. can, prepare. And I think that's what I was saying, like having the accounting background or whatever gives you a good foundation yeah. for opportunity. And what can you do about opportunity? I think, you know Put what? You have to th exactly. You have to throw yourself in the path repeatedly. of opportunity. Absolutely. Repeatedly. You know, and the thing is, uh, yeah. absolutely. And it's tough and it's grinding. It I mean, I think Elon Musk said that thing that like entrepreneurship is like staring into the abyss and chewing glass like every single day. <laughs> it's very, very it's tough. True. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's, it's so um, tough. And nobody tells you that they glamorize it. It's very glamorized. Oh, it's true. It's, yeah. It's true. Yeah, and I mean, it's very that's... similar to the accounting stuff, I think, you know, and this is also why, like, I, I, I'm glad I, it's so nice to have this conversation with you. Um, because we, I'm like, when I talk to students, I'm like, this whole entrepreneurial business of mine, this whole entrepreneurial journey has been, for me, as tough as CTA was in the mental <sighs> space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And yes. the, there's, the, the, there's things where it's like, there's no suggested solution. There's no textbook. It's there's no you. one tell yes, you what yes, you should yeah. be doing. You're, you're there on your own figuring it out there's no manager yeah. there's no manager there's no partner there's, there's no, no one um, telling you what you should fine. be doing it's gonna be fine exactly like you you're know like, like someone else sort it out. it's on you yeah it's on you yeah. and yeah. there's yes there's tons of information out there you know you google like how to run a business or how to market or what i mean there's tons but which one is right for you you know which which advice is right for you very very difficult um and the rejection you know, we as accounting, if, if oh, you're no, not no. okay, if you're not okay with failing a question that you're attempting on your own at home that nobody needs to know about, you are not going to be okay with sending an email to someone going, hi, I have a business doing this. Would you like to buy my stuff? You know, you like, you're not, not get a be... at all. <laughs> or ticked, like, please, can you leave me that. alone? <laughs> like, Ill. Worst, yeah, yeah. Rejection. But you're so, yeah. It's it's failure. It's that sense of like I'm not good enough. I'm not going to be successful. What does this mean? And the opportunities come. You're 100 right. The luck is where if you have one conversation, if you send one email, if you put one, you know, if you put yourself out there once, then you know you got a one out of one chance of getting this right. But yes. if the person goes, thanks, it's been real. Don't call me. I'll call you. And you go back tomorrow and you put yourself out there again and again and again and again. If you put yourself out there 10 times, 
you've got a much higher possibility that one out of those 10 conversations are going to land up being valuable. Absolutely, 100% true. And um, again, like some valuable information I've picked up um, is that, you know, people don't realize um, like the response rate to cold emails. Like people will send out 100 cold emails and get like three, three, three responses or five responses and count that as a positive thing. And, you know, yes. that's just it. It's, yeah. it's the, I mean, I know I would, but no, that's just it. The thing is, it's your mindset, right? It's your mindset on... Did I fail or no? Yeah, five opportunities to capitalize on. And to know, to what get do I luckier. need to change? As, what do exactly I need to change? Well. Because now, There's like, feedback coming through. Yes, exactly. yes, yes. So, yes. so nobody's yes. answering my emails. Ugh. Okay, let me go Google. Why is nobody? Well, actually, people don't like emails anymore. You need to go find them on LinkedIn. Ugh. Okay, fine. Absolutely. Now I go to LinkedIn. Yes. Nobody's answering my LinkedIn. People don't like in LinkedIn anymore. You need to go find them on Instagram. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Like, what I like about this is, and, and the way you're putting it is, is fantastic because what you're doing is you've learned how to learn, you know, exactly. it's the skills you've learned how to learn. And I think that's so critical. I think there's a couple of key skills yeah. that if we can teach people and, or like, you know, yeah. kids or whoever, like, you know, whether it's in campus, but these are critical skills, right? Things like yeah. being able to really read, right? Being able to read and being able to write. If you're able to read, that means you can take information. And a lot of that you find, accounting is a lot of that. A lot of it is being able yeah. to read figures, things, you know, and then being able to write, being able to formulate words and put it in, yeah. you know, a, a way that yourself. other people will be able to, yes, exactly. And then being able to listen and being able to speak, you know, taking those, those verbs, but really going deep into them. And like, if you can learn those, you know, being able to learn, how, learning how to learn and learning how to think. I know it, it just, it's just another step because learning how to learn, there's a process of learning, right? There's, and I mean, you can find it how, the best ways to learn and it will tell you, um, expose yourself to this. I mean, we already know from, um, you know, a quick way that you retain things much more when you teach it to someone else. The best way of retaining information yeah. is by teaching it. Audio yeah. visual only is like a minimal, you know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, I think those key critical skills, if you can have that, you'll be bulletproof or, you know, you'll be very well, yeah. Um, served to 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 yeah. really do something, yeah. um, and I, I can tie that exactly to what you were saying because okay, things aren't working, but firstly the mindset, it's it's a failure indication to do we can do something a bit better. Yeah. It's not an indictment yeah. on myself, right? I can do something this better. Doesn't mean and that my business is not going to work out. That's you know, the hardest that, thing. It's like, yeah. do I take this as, do I take the no that this means my business is not going to work out? Or do I take this no as like, okay, that maybe wasn't the best way to do this. No, and there we go. Persistence and yeah. grit. And yeah, yeah. It, and that's why I think that's the tough part. Yeah. You know, I think that's maybe tough. the tough part. 100%. Not to discourage, yeah, not to discourage people from taking it on, but you know, know what, know what you're getting into no, in that 100%. regard. Yeah. 100%. yeah it's not as tough those, as, but those stories are the, those are the ones I love. Like I love stories, you know, and when, when students are um, you know, they, they, they ask me for motivation and for stuff like that. There's, there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff that I normally send them about stuff that I use as motivation. One of them is Kevin Hart. I love Kevin Hart. He's like, he's like one of my favorites. I think he went to something like 3,600 auditions and yes. gigs before he yes. became successful. So his yes. journey before like we heard of him is like yes. insane. What did he do? Mm -hmm. He just kept putting himself out there. He was like, and every single time stuff went wrong, he was like, what do I need to learn from this? And he went and found himself a mentor. He went and found himself people. And like, let me watch what you do. You're successful. Okay, you do that. I don't do this. Let me know. And he just worked on his craft and he just continually put himself out there. Even when it looked crap, even when it looked like it wasn't working, even when it looked like 3,600 is a lot of rejection. <laughs> but look at him now. That's the outlier. He was willing to put in the work. He yeah, was willing to do it. Yeah. And, and you know what? You can only, like, he was willing to do it and learn and get, I mean, and that's just it. It's a very good point to say that we see the final product, you know? You see the final, yeah. you, know, you see the fruit tree in bloom. Yes, you don't see yes, the 30 yes. years that it took to get <gasps> there, you know, yeah. and the care and, and the strife and all the pruning. And, you know, that's, that's absolutely true. And it's, you know, the more um, you read about success stories, the more you realize it's not overnight. Like the Beatles played, I think, thousands, I think about a thousand different 
gigs when they were touring before they were ever even known as yes. the Beatles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's that Malcolm Gladwell concept of, you know, the 10,000 hours. And well, there's, yeah, there's, there's, yeah. even that, like the, the, the 10,000 hour rule, it's, it's, it's interesting that even that is being shifted now because they're saying the yes, 10,000 exactly. hour yes, rule is yes, like saying yes. you do the same thing all the time, but that doesn't match our world anymore because doing the same thing for 10,000 hours is not actually the way to do things because the world changes so far. But anyway, I, I get your point. No, no, you're 100% right. The, I mean, the, 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 yeah, the, the yeah. saying that I really like that you're talking about is um there, there's like there's a, there's a saying or there's a quote that's kind of like it took me 10 years to get my overnight success yes <laughs> like, no that's just it. like i worked for 10 years to get my overnight success because you just see yesterday you were nothing today you're a millionaire but mm -hmm. what you were doing in the background etc cetera, etc cetera. so this i think is a really really good lean in towards to discussing um why have you chosen to be an entrepreneur after your qualification as opposed to you know continuing where you were as an auditor or you know finding a job in corporate or like finding employment somewhere why did you choose entrepreneurship okay that's that's a fantastic question that's a great question and people see the glamorized side of it more than the you know because you see jeff bezos and like um elon musk and the guys who are making it um, and we have made it rather than like we were talking about the nitty gritty everyday stuff that, you know, you have to do to, to potentially hopefully get there. No one's even like really dreaming of getting there. It's like, let me get to the next quarter. Let me get to next week. <laughs> let me get one email like back, you know. So for myself, right, I think I think one where it, where it stemmed from was, I mean, I've always personally enjoyed um selling things, right? Selling things on like making money in a way, right? Okay. That was there from my, uh, from matric days where I really started. So, so it, it really, it's a melding, I think, of the internet mm -hmm. and being that, 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 you know, trading, being willing to sell, seeing opportunity, right? And another thing that's very interesting, I think, if I look back at my own journey was it was always kind of tied to things that I was interested in at okay. the time, right? And yeah. you can always take things you are interested in, I think, and capitalize on them. So for example, it started off like in, uh, you know, matric days where I um, I was like looking up Pokemon cards. And this was like about eight, ten, eight years ago, yeah. you know? And I, I found that, for example, like Pokemon, certain Pokemon cards from back in the 90s were being sold at exorbitant yeah. prices then to me, like a couple of hundred dollars, right? Um, on eBay. And you see, for me, I was like, Oh, I, I mean, I used to really enjoy all of that stuff when I was a kid. I was like, I can do that, you know? And I think that's the key to say, I can do that. Mm. Then I was like, but how am I going to do that? Mm. So then I realized that in order to list on eBay, it gets paid out to a PayPal account. And the only um, bank at that time that had, you know, um, a connection PayPal, with yeah. PayPal was FNB. Still so is the I only went, bank in South Africa. Nothing has changed. Right, there. right. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Welcome to the global <laughs> village of internet technology in South Africa. Thou shalt use PayPal through FNB that's only. Wild, eh? Yeah, that, that's, <laughs> that's a good wild. Still, anyway. wow, yeah. yeah. That's, still, that's, still. That's and nice. you can't use it, you can't use it. You have to channel, you've got to take it out of PayPal, you've got to pay it in, as you know, like you've got to pay it and into there's fees, there's fees on fees on fees, exactly. And <laughs> you see, for me, that was it. The problem was, okay, I wanted to do this, but I needed this yeah. PayPal, right? Yeah. So as a, then as a 17 year old, I went to the FNB bank, opened up the account, helped uh, the asked the lady, and then I had it, you know, that was it, that solved that. Then yeah. the next problem was, okay, um, then I bought a card. I used my mom's uh, <laughs> American Express. What a, she, she knows. She saw it like, <laughs> no, she saw it there. So I'm like, I bought something online. She saw it there, $120. She was like, what did you buy? I was like, a Pokemon card. She was she like, like, you're like, 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 so, so you're bad for buying things like that. I was like, no. I was like, just wait. This will pay like, off, mama. I, yeah, I was like, just wait. I have an idea. Just believe. Right? And that was the... <laughs> That was Your the reality of it, right? <laughs> so No, no, no. And, no, but that's just it. They, 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 they've been very encouraging. Yeah. Uh, they really have. And they allowed <laughs> me to do it. No, and that's the truth. They allowed me to do this. And like, you know, I bought the car and it came sealed. It was, and you know, course, and yeah. why? Because I did some research, you know, on Pokemon cards and what made it valuable. And it's mm. that, you know, and I, yeah. oh, okay, this, yeah. let me take a punt, you know, bought it, et cetera. And two, three months later, I listed it and it sold for $300. Right? Wait, and I was mom like, was happy. 
mom I was happy but then there was the thing of you know going and taking it and shipping it and putting it yeah. again had to learn did that and then I realized there could be a business here and that was something for me that always stimulated this kind of so for example then at one point I was like you know importing Pokemon cards like to South Africa and selling them to locals here there was that then but another way then like I what got me into for example amateur investing I think I read something in 2014, in my second year, about you know some um, legislation that was going to negatively impact some telecommunications and would probably positively uh, impact MTN. And I thought I was Warren Buffett, but again, you know, I had saved that some money. Take a fund, you know, take yeah. take take take, yeah, take yeah. a chance. And I bought. I I think I sank, sank all of it into MTN shares, and it worked. And at the end of the year, I cashed out and I went to Iran for two months. Oh, and no, that was cool. It was. But the the thing is taking an opportunity. And I, then I learned everything, about, well, I learned quite a bit about how to buy shares, et cetera. Mm. So I think it was always in there. It was always in my blood or it was somewhere yeah, yeah, there yeah. that, you know, I didn't choose, this is what I want to do yeah. or this. It actually came upon me. When mm. I was in my final year of articles, um, you know, which was last year, I think the key thing that a lot of, and I was looking forward to it too, that a lot of um, people in their third year look forward to a secondment, you know, and we had, mm. I had always heard ravings about secondment from the people course, who had yeah. been, it sounded like a great experience. Yeah. I was very, let's do that. I was yeah. Forward to, yeah. Yeah. And then COVID came in like a wrecking ball, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you know, completely demolished yeah. any, any opportunity of, you know, going overseas or even taking um, positions overseas, you yeah. know, there's, there's um, companies that, you know, offer those consulting yeah. or those yeah, exp- yeah, yeah. Also went out. Just Everything that, was yeah. just a remote working. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I looked at that and I was like, you know, I didn't really want to continue in that. I've mm-hmm. also seen the real value that I had, I think, within the audit sphere, you know, mm-hmm. uh, what I'd been exposed to in my three years of articles. And the lucky thing is, this is really like most, like the, the, the basis of it is that, you know, for most entrepreneurs too, it's, I think it's about bootstrapping. You know, it's not really all about, uh, uh, again, the perception of, getting outside funding and investing that does play a role and that does definitely assist and can help you. But for me, for example, throughout articles, like I stayed with my parents, I drive a secondhand Honda Jazz. Like, you know, I was saving for me, um, it was Mm. important to save that portion. And I was Mm. lucky to be able to do that. I'm not Mm. saying, you know, but to be able to have something going forward at the end, you know, that once I finished articles, like I said, I didn't choose. Exactly. Mm. You know, that's Mm. the thing. Like, you know, I think, money affords opportunities Very and true. having had that i only really had the idea and developed the idea for my yeah. setup and the reflective plan toolkit in january of this year and that was when i was looking up the cp like my dad is an optometrist and he's been doing cpd for years and i know i know um the 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 the, 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 the stringent requirements etc yes exactly as well as the <laughs> and i was like oh my god I was like, I better check out what I have to do too. <laughs> you know, I had, I had applied for like, you know, the, the designation and I was just waiting for that. So I was like, in the meantime, and then oh. I took a look through that. And that to me, I was like, oh, like we're going to have to do this. I'm going to have to do this. There's an opportunity to make things a bit yeah. easier, yeah, yeah. you know, to, to, to help. There's a problem, a problem. Yeah. And there's yeah. a way to solve it. And why not yeah. and they take a punt? Like, you know, yeah. let's take a punt. Let's yeah. try it out. Let's see. And so I think for me, the, the key maybe skills mm. there uh, that, that, that would lead to that, you know, it's not a direct choice that I, that mm. I made, um, would maybe be like, again, the learning being just, I don't know, just always wanting and then trying things out. I think you mm. have to try things out, even if you fail. Like, you know, take, take the jump, try it out. Okay, even if you fail, you learn, you know. Yeah. Um, there'll, yeah. be, there'll be things you have to learn, you know, and I think you'll be better off for it hopefully and the other thing is um that i think a lot of like whilst you're still young young i know i said i was old but whilst you're, <laughs> still you're young, saying old you know, <laughs> it's all relative <laughs> no um it's 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 really it, it you can oh and i mean personally like the responsibilities are not in terms of a family in terms mm-hmm. of you know a house etc so you can you can have the chance you know you have the chance to to fail you have the chance to fail to try and fail and learn and like i said for me personally, the beautiful thing, one of the great things about the degree is 
you can get back into it. You know, you mm. can go back the opportunities, the networks, you can, okay, whatever it is, you can add value. Mm. I think no matter what happens back into going to it, if this hasn't changed, you know, the IS hasn't changed, you can, you can, you can, Take that, all your knowledge, where yeah. are you going? If you want to go back into audit, once you, I think, reach a certain level of competence or whatever, it's up to you, you know, to make do or to make it what you want. Yep. The, like the underlying skill or the underlying thing, commonality there in, in your journey and in, in what you're saying is what we were talking about earlier, which is you have a habit of making things personal in terms of like, this is something I'm interested in. Hmm, I wonder if I could start a business or I wonder how I could do something with this. Uh, oh, this is something that I'm interested in. Hmm, I wonder how I could, uh, oh, this is something that I have to do. Like, you know, looking at CPD, this is something I have to do. Hmm, I wonder if, um, and again, I, I think <clears throat> I want to, I kind of want to shift that phrase. You didn't take the opportunity, you made the opportunity, you know? And I think it's, no, 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 but I think it's, it's really important it, for, for, it was a very big shift for me because um, I think we're, we're wired and we're kind of programmed that opportunities will kind of happen around us. And we're sort of standing around waiting to see them, you know? Um, and like, Oh, you know, they're, they're like lining up, you know, and then you're like, Oh, I'll take that one kind of thing. And it's not because we don't care. We don't take ownership or whatever. It's just like, it's kind of how we see. So when we use the word take opportunities, it has the impression that there, there's a whole bunch standing there and you take which one you want. In reality, mm-hmm. you're in a room with nothing. Yes. You know, and well. and if, if, if you want an opportunity, you have to go outside the room and go hunting around, you know, and there's some little, parts of potential ideas that you wake up at 12 o'clock at night and go, oh, wouldn't that be interesting? Is that an yes. opportunity or is it not an opportunity? Or yes. someone's talking yes. to you over lunch. Is that an opportunity or is that not an opportunity? Or yes. you know, so you, you made the opportunity. It didn't happen because there's other people who did exactly the same thing that you did, who went through the same and it never occurred to them to do anything about it. It's not like someone came to you and said, oh, would you like the opportunity of creating this thing? So it's just, a, it's just a bit of a mindset shift of, of, of going, when we talk about opportunities, um, you have to make them. Yeah. They don't exist. Wow, wow. You've got to no, make them. No. You don't take yeah. them, you make them. You go hunting for them. <laughs> you know, like- Brilliantly put. Brilliantly put. And I think that, that that's also very true. Um, I see what you're saying now. Uh, yes, I'm going to humbly say, okay, yes, maybe I made that opportunity. Yeah, no, you, but, um, but you do it. Like, like no, no, but, no, but, has, yeah. Very seldom no, I, has is, is we're just like sitting at home and someone sends us an email and go, hey, how would you like to start a business doing? Okay. It never happens. No, exactly. <laughs> and again, shift of the mindset. You know, you've got to, you've got to go out there. And, and it's, the other thing is like, it's tough. Again, not, again, nothing, it, nobody tells you that like when you do try the untrap, it's, it's bare bones, you know. It's lonely, it's, it's tough, hard. You don't know hard, what's going to happen. No, 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 no. So that's, it's, that's, it's, that's it's, very it's, cool. And I like that. And I think, um, you know, those conversations around what entrepreneurship is about, the, main, the mental challenges, because you're right, we, 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 we do, we kind of have the glamour, oh, I work for myself, I set my own hours. The reality is like, what it means is that you get to work like any 20 hours of the day that you like. <laughs> like yes. But again, you work uh, brilliantly a lot. put. All exactly, the time. it's exactly you work way, but all and uh, no, you. Are, it's just that's just it. I went from working a nine to five to working a twenty four seven. But but <laughs> but the mindset you saw right is like, what is it? It's for myself, you know. Yeah. And it's if it's important to you, it doesn't have to be. No, the other thing is not everybody has to be entrepreneur. Some people. You know, like we said, it's the, the, the yeah. curve, right? People yeah, yeah. fit in everywhere on the curve. Do you know Absolutely. what I'm saying? Not everybody has. Um, I, I just think something we picked up maybe mutually is that there could be a lot more entrepreneurial accountants and I they agree. have a lot to offer in yeah, this space. I agree. I think it's, it's really important for the economy globally, not just for South Africa. It's really important. Uh, like, you know, the entre- entrepreneurs are the, are, the, are the job creators. Like, that. So it's really yeah. important. Yeah. One, yeah. two, from your own perspective, prof- from your own professional development, it's it's really important to have that understanding of what it takes to build a business because it gives you a totally yeah. different respect for CEOs, CFOs, founders. Absolutely. You know, it really does. Absolutely. Um, yes. And and you've been given, you know, as an accountant, you've learned and you've been given so many valuable skills 
Um, and, and, and the other side of it is also like I, it's so many of my students and so many people that I talk to are like, oh, I, you know, in, in the future, I want to be an entrepreneur, but yes. there's a very big conceptual gap of what that actually mm. means. So mm. I agree, we need more, we need more entrepreneurs. I would love to see more accounting entrepreneurs out there, mm. but that means that we've got to break a whole bunch of stereotypes Mm. And it means that we've got to create a whole bunch of understanding of what's really going on here. And let's be honest, the stuff that you're struggling with in your studies is going to be the stuff that you struggle with as an entrepreneur. The same correct. mental challenges, getting help, finding how to solve problems, not knowing the answer, uncertainty, worried about how it's going to work out, fear of failure and rejection. If you, if you struggle with that there, you're going to struggle with it here. So it's like, it's developing right. that personality trait, the skill, the like, exactly. I'm okay with failure. I'm okay with failure. <laughs> it doesn't define who I am. You know, it's not going to be the be all. Hundred percent. Like, so yeah, I think it's 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 very 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 exciting, and I, I hope to have more conversations along the way. But now, let's actually talk about what you doing. Yes. So we've discussed you, your journey. Interesting. We've discussed you, entrepreneur interesting now let's discuss what are you actually doing yes well so i am Mohammed ismail Bulbulia, and i'm the founder and editor of my ca hub right and at my ca hub my ca hub was started with a dual purpose we create software solutions for casas and we aim to make accounting awesome for everyone else so the targeted revenue generating business part of, well, the revenue ge generating part of the business is the software solutions for CASAs. And we create tailor-made software for CAs to assist them with many things, to, in a nutshell, to save them time. I really, what I really love about this and what I want people to take from this is that, stupid cat, um, what I want people to take from this is kind of looking at you, like, you know, recently qualified, saw kind of gap, and you've gone out and created something, which looks really cool. I mean, you've like, the whole thing you, works, you click so on the much. button, it comes through, so it's like, there's a little bit of programming stuff in there, there's like, you've got your little Chrome widget, you've got your stuff, and there's a million little things obviously behind the scenes that you've had to figure out, try out, fail at, go through, da, 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 da. but if someone landed on that page on their own without, you know, without hearing this conversation, it doesn't, it doesn't come across as something that you know, you've kind of like, oh, okay, let's go and do this now. And you've put a lot of, you know, it looks like a real, like it's legit, you know? Looks like oh, thanks. That, thank you. Yeah, it that, looks that, like that, a that, that, that's legit. Intention. You can, no, oh, and, no, of course, and it is. I mean, it, but it's just I think I think when you know when we're qualifying, we have this impression that businesses have to be big and impressive and like yes. you know, like it's got to be. Whereas you know, what I like about this is like a, you know, you saw a problem. Yeah, how can we solve it? Went about obviously there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes, like oh crap, now we have to do that. Or, oh, okay, now we've got to do that to do that to do yes. that to do yes. that to do that, yeah. which is all cool and 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 tough and, and all the rest of that, but. From the front end, you know, you can't see all of that difficulty. Just you know, it all just day. looks, just it looks nice and own. smooth and clean and calm and everything is like all legit and sorted. Um, and what I love about that is that it's possible. You know what I mean? Yes. Like it's possible for you and me to run and, and for the people who are watching this to be entrepreneurs and run stuff and create something that's a legitimate business um, without... Yeah, I mean, it, it is possible because I think we kind of have this idea that in order to like run businesses, we've got to have like SWOT analysis and big proposals and like yeah. external funding and offices and venues and like, you know, um, and I think it is, it's just this shift of, of, of like, I can create something um, and it's a legit business. I don't know where it's going to go. You know, this might be the only software solution you, you run and need and do. Or this might be the beginning of a bunch of different, like we don't know. And that's the awesome thing. That's really exciting. You know, that to me, you, you've just hit yeah. the nail on the head. You know, it can be whatever, whatever I want, you know, at this yeah. stage. I think that's the nice part or, uh, about that level, uh, that, that, that 
the entrepreneurship, you know, pros and cons. The cons are the, oh my God, is this going to work? Please don't reject me. And then the, no, but the pro is, you know, that, um, but this is what I want to do and this is the direction. Yeah. And you're 100% right. For me personally, what I'd like is to, um, okay, so I'm going to tell you firstly about the second part of my CA hub, then, yeah. uh, and then I'm going to tell you what I'd like that ties into what, you'd say, right. what you cool. said here. Yeah. Right? And so the first part is software solutions for CSAs. And the second part is making accounting awesome for everyone else. And that really ties into what we've been discussing, you know, and what I've been saying this whole video, that accounting is valuable to not just CAs and accounting students, but to everybody. And for me, you know, like I said, learning those things about tax-free saving accounts, retirement annuities, medical aid insurance, all of that, um, like, that was very valuable. And that stuff should be made accessible to ordinary young South Africans. It should be made yeah. accessible to all South Africans. That stuff is extremely valuable. And... It needs, um, it's, it's, it's free, you know, it's openly accessible. The, 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 the sad thing is, there's a premium that people generally have to pay for access to that information advice um, when we can really make it more accessible to all. And having that information allows people to make choices, allows them yeah. more freedom. So that's, the, that's really the passion side of it, right? That our, if, that's why every week we release free um, infographics on a specific theme that are centered around a content. Um, this week's one is property, the absolute basics of investing in property. Uh, last week's one was the absolute basics, I think. Uh, oh, last week we did a book summary, Richest, uh, Richest Man in Babylon. Also, let really me just, good... while you're talking, let me just pull that up so that they can actually see what this looks like. Sure, yes. And for me, for example, Richest Man in Babylon was one of my personal favorite entrepreneurial books. Um, the week before that, we did Absolute Basics of Alternative Investments. So we've this been having an investing... Yes, we've been having an investing theme over the past month, and we've been diving into that. We've spoken about tax-free saving accounts, retirement annuities. This one was about alternative investments. Most South Africans, you know, when you speak about investing, they don't know the options that are available to yeah. them. You can invest in fine wine. You can invest in fine wine. Here in South Africa, you can invest in solar panels, in honey and macadamia nuts. Like, right. you know, it's yeah. just giving you the opportunity to do with your money what you, you know, but information is... Is yeah. always valuable, yeah. I think. And there's your book summary. Yes, yes, the richest man in Babylon. And like, you know, oopsie, the, the critical um, keys on that, the, the, the critical points on that. And I think for myself, the, it what ties into the point that you would like to say to make it like, you know, um, shown or known that this is um, a, an option is 100% true. Like for me, the best thing or one of the coolest things would be if so many more CAs or so many more people could just take this, solve problems, and you don't need, you don't need to be mm. um, a big company or, you know, necessarily have access, like the stuff that the term sheets and funding and vesting schedules, like it's very intimidating, you know, it doesn't have to be all of that. Yeah. You can start a business yeah. in your bedroom yeah. and take it from there. Never been more true. Never been the more critical, true. The critical elements are, are you solving a problem? And really your service, you know, if you if you can deliver good service, I think you can stand out personally. That's what I've seen. Um, and that's yeah. one way, you know, I think smaller um, businesses can compete. Generally, bigger businesses have a real dart when it comes to yeah. service delivery. Yeah. You know, I, I know I get antsy when I have to wait on a ro robocall or I send an email and it takes forever. And that's, you know, it's it's the you, you accept it as the price of doing business. But I think, yeah. you know, there's an opportunity there for, you know, to, to, to assist and compete and to do better for yeah. small businesses. So yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, for us, we, we respond to any business, any query within two business hours, guaranteed. Uh, and that's like, that's why we, we offer that, you know, we, 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 we take service delivery very seriously. Very seriously. Yeah, I think um, I'm going, obviously, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to share um, links to your, your, your site well, and stuff in, in the discussion Thank so you. keep people find it. But from our side, the part of it, you know, it's my CA hub. It's meant to be a hub, a platform for chartered accountants, those aspiring to be chartered accountants, mm. to promote themselves, to let other people know. That's why, um, you know, the infographics are just one part of the content. Yeah. We have infographics, we have guides, we have blogs that feature guest posts from CAs. We want, and, you know, with direct links to their sites, to their yeah. products, to their links, yeah, yeah. it's all about the CAs, you know. We want to create a community here. It's not, there's, the, the, there's one part that's the revenue generating side, but it's about more than that. Yeah. It's about making accounting also for everyone because it yeah, is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it needs yeah. to be, it, 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 and, and people must take advantage of that, you know, use accounting, use the knowledge and, and make something of your own. And who yeah. knows where it may go, you know, you could give back 
10 times over. I don't I know. know. I agree. Not yet to but I think the, you know, what I want people to take from stuff like this, if nothing else, is your possibilities, your potential, your career are so much more exciting than you think it is when you're yeah. sitting down and doing a deferred tax question, you know? And I know that feeling and I understand it because you get caught so much up in the syllabus and they're like, I'm studying deeper tax today, I'm studying impairment, which is understandable and necessary and all that rubbish. And all. But it is a little tough to get excited about that. You know, it is a little tough to continue sure. to be excited. Yeah. But like, you know, while you're studying, you know, in the evenings or when you're taking a break or whatever, to take a little bit of a step back and kind of go, I have no idea where my career is leading me. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing in the future. Um, we don't know what technology is going to look like in five years' time. So there's going to be career opportunities that haven't even hit our radar at this particular point in time that, you know, that, 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 that we're going to be like, that's my career. It didn't exist three years ago kind of thing, whatever. We don't know that. So I want, I want accounting students at every level to be excited about what they're studying, not because... Yes. You're going to be crunching numbers in the back office of an office, you know, somewhere. Um, but because we have no idea what you're going to be doing. Yes. And yes. who knows where you're going to be? Who knows what you're going to be doing? Um, and it's Beautiful. probably oh, yes. much more, it could be much more yes. exciting than you think it is. <laughs> well, so well, but it's entirely up <laughs> like, to you. It's it entirely up to you, you know. It is. And it is. It, that's just it. It's, it's exciting. It's something that, and you're 100% right. Yes, the deferred tax questions grind you down. Mm -hmm. I get it. But you've got to pay your dues, you know. You've got, to, you've got to know that you've got to get the information to be able to get there. And like you say, I think you put it so well when you said, just take a step back and yeah. see what it could be, Perspective. you know. Like, I don't want you to stop your studying. You need to study, and that. But you know what? Having that sense of like, okay, let me get through this stuff because, like, who knows where I'm going to be? Um, yes. You like you don't know what you're going to do with that. I, I was talking to someone the other day, like, um, you know, you could take that deeper tax knowledge and create. I don't know. It's such a ridiculous thing, but I was talking to someone else the other day. And I'm like, you I'm can listening. take that deeper. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. There's a part of me that I actually kind of like, mm, never mind. Oh, no, it's fine. Like, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, no, no. Yeah. I feel you, and that's that's part of it. That's part yeah, of it. No, it's, like, it's, it's but it's but like, I get it. I, I get the excitement. No, I get it. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's I get a, it. And I want others to be. It's yes. I want others to be excited about it because I wish yeah. someone had of. I wish someone had explained that to me because I mm -hmm. thought that it was yes. like, I'm studying towards this and it's going to be a good career and, 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 but it's not exciting. You know, it's not like, it's like, it's limited. It's a box and it's going to be like this. Um, but I, I'm in Montenegro. I'm in a country that like most people don't even know where it is. Um, you know, like it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's exquisite. I spend most of my days working at like, beach bars and restaurants and cafes because why not um and I, like genuinely you know I, like it's summer now so it's really really hot so we kind of we have a couple of Must be beach nice. bars it's the coldest day here. i know sorry about that but we do we have a couple of beach bars we go to and then we like work there during the day because my husband and i both work online and then we're like okay it's really really hot now we take a break go swim in the sea <laughs> Back oh God, you're are. are you living working. in paradise or oh, Montenegro? No. Like, what it's is really this? You're it's, literally living in paradise. It's, it's awesome. And I mean, my no, to, to a large you. extent, you my students don't happen. know where no, I am. You made it happen. Yeah, oh. like they don't know where I am. So I still have a lot of students in South Africa. And then I have calls like this. It doesn't matter where I am. They don't know where no, I am. I'm still servi oh. servicing them. I'm still helping them out. We're on the same time zone, which is very valuable. Um, so technology has meant that I can teach and lecture and guide and do my stuff from, you know, a little country in the Northern Hemisphere that nobody's like really ever heard Absolutely. of. Um, Absolutely. And, um, you know, we've, we've kind of chosen this as, as our lifestyle because I don't want to sit in traffic. I don't want to be, yes. Yes. like, I don't yes. want to be stuck in a day yes. job. I don't want to be chained to a desk. Um, I want to explore, I want to do different things. And um, I want to be creative and I am creative. I did not think I was creative. Let's be honest. Um, mm -hmm. Turns out I am. And um, hey. yeah. Hey. And although I'm not doing Ipris and stuff, you know, mm -hmm. my accounting qualification has been so valuable for that. And I, you know, I look at like yes. how exciting I, and how excited I am about my career 
you know, and all the shifts that I've made, you know, like I was on that path and then I was like, okay, maybe not. And okay, maybe not. And and I'll be like, oh, I'm such a failure. This isn't, you know, I should have done this and I shouldn't have done that. And like, oh, I'm going to, you know, but I'm more excited about my career and my my life now than I ever have been before. Wow. That's awesome. Um, Which is amazing. It's it's incredible. Yes, it's hard. It's very inspiring. It, it is it's tough like I work a lot so there's a lot of stuff that goes right and wrong and I have to make sure that mm. I find my own money for rent and like you know to pay yeah. bills and stuff so it is really hard but um but it, the opportunities and the possibilities yes. if yes. we have the mindset of looking at stuff and going hmm. there was an article that I put up on my web on my blog about eight years ago I think could be more than eight years ago could be a long time ago and it was a book that I read on um how to think different because you know everybody's like Steve Mm. Jobs you know he thinks differently Mm. and they're like sweet but how do we do that like how do we think different and it's an article I put up because I really wanted to get other people to do this type of thing and and they're kind of saying it's just it's developing the habit of taking two things that you kind of know about and forcing them together so it's like oh, yes, you know, I'm yes, taking like you know what I mean like I'm taking you take your Pokemon cards and your understanding yes. of finance and like squish them together and yes for me my interest in you know like I love Canva and creating infographics and stuff and my teaching and like squishing them together and all the other stuff we do so innovative you know innovation is not sitting waiting for inspiration to come from the sky and hoping innovation is like actively taking two different things and going, how could we put them together? How could you work? Like, what does this look like? And so that means take your passion and your yes. qualification and yes. go, is yes. there a way we could like put these together? And 90% of the time, the answer is going to be no, but it develops that process of thinking. It develops your brain's habit <sighs> of going like, hmm, how could we? And that's where these guys make these amazing and girls, not just guys. That's where these people make these amazing connections and make these amazing businesses because they're in the habit of going, if we take that yes. and we put that and we like squish them together, we could create something completely new. And that's a habit of thinking. Oh, that is, you know, wow. You got me yeah. so excited about this because um, you're hundred percent correct. And I, I mean, I read something similarly um, on a quota answer. You know, Quora can be dangerous, but it was by um, Justine Musk, who was it's, it's Elon's ex-wife, right? And someone asked the question, like, how do I become a billionaire? I think this is a famous answer on Quora, right? And she answered there and she said, you know, you don't become a billionaire by hard work. Like nobody, obviously, and this is in terms of aspirations, but yeah. what she said that really stuck out to me was, you know, the thing about Elon is he took something he was good at and he knew, which was like engineering, right? Mm-hmm. And he combined it with another field, yeah. um, finance and business, yeah. right? Yeah. And then he took other things he was interested in, such yeah. as space travel and, you know, um, the, the, the electric cars. Like he likes cars and it's exact, you know, but, but yeah. he took that and he was able to maneuver. And I mean, that, that's what it's about. Exactly what you're saying, this, yeah. this transitional cross-sectional thinking and taking things and the you know the cool thing for me is like with accountants and this is like it is one thing people take out or one thing i'd like to get across it's that you know by becoming a ca you will really like you say solidify one sector of that which is the business mm. slash finance slash accounting mm. part of that you just have to find like you say something you can connect with, and it can be something you're interested in you know it can be whether it's sports okay. or you know it can be like okay. very narrow or and you can like it, you already have i think a leg up, you have a leg up because you have something very cool. Yeah. Um, something I yeah. read on the, the, the Reddit uh, entrepreneurs subreddit, there was a question that said, um, you know, successful entrepreneurs, which which was the one skill you wish you had, you know, at the beginning of your journey? You know, what did you wish you had? And I, I, I'm not going to, I'm not messing around. Over 80% of the people said accounting. I wish I had basic accounting That's knowledge when I started. True very that, true you know whether it was costing or tax it stuff is. like i just yeah. had an instance like it's yeah. cool uh, you know another thing like people start a business and then all the money comes into their personal account and then sars is like you know that's mistake number one you know so at least you have a heads up there you can uh, you yeah. know assist others etc yeah. so that's we just totally it. take that for granted and um like um my, my husband runs an e- e-commerce accounting practice so Exactly, like for you know, for entrepreneurs, e-commerce entrepreneurs, so you know, drop shipping and 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 then and that type of thing. 
um, and in so many cases, um, you know, the difference between like, like you were saying earlier, you know, you're, you're like, oh, okay, I'll buy, you know, buy the Pokemon card and, and, and then sell it. But then, you know, did you take into account how much it costs to ship the stuff? Because, you know, when you don't understand accounting and you don't exactly. understand costing, you're like, oh, I bought it for three and I'm selling it for five. Yeah, I made a profit of two. And then you're exactly. like, wait, 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 you've got to pay tax on that. Exactly. And then there's import exactly. duties and oh, then there's yes. transport and then there's logistics and then there's transaction costs. And then, you know, by the time you're done, in a lot of cases, there are companies that are like, you know, people are like, oh, sweet, I made such a profit. And then it turns out like, I don't know where my money went. Oh, actually, I made a loss because I didn't take into account the transport costs and the career fees and the admin. And so, yeah, as, as an accountant, as someone who understands these things, to begin with you do you have a massive advantage that finance is not like a weird fuzzy magic dark place that you don't want to go um there's a lot of stuff that you understand and it is it it is your challenge is getting out of the accounting (laughs) everyone else wants that knowledge and and your challenge is like let me get out of it take my knowledge but like get out of the room a little bit you know Yeah, yeah So, and the yeah. cool thing about that is, like, like you said, um, you know, most of the ideas that you try are probably not going to fly, you know, and that's fine. It's the process of trying and learning and applying yeah. and that. And yeah, 100%. Have you seen, um, and this is some, again, something I, I kind of push or get my, my students to take a look at when we're talking about failure. And that, I don't know. have you seen, there's an organization called, um, they run, um, they run what they call, F up nights, but like full on okay. F up, like yes, you know. I won't yes. say the word because YouTube will probably like no, no got it. <laughs> yeah, but they they run so you can literally Google like F up nights. What yes. they do is like it's almost like TED talks for failed businesses, okay. if you will. So they have oh, okay. it's like global, and then they yes. set up ve- events and venues, and they go, you know, let us know your failure, your business failure, your entrepreneurial yes. failure, or whatever, and then come and talk about it. Come and yes. talk about your business failure. So it's literally like people who sign up to talk about and listen to other people's business and failures. share. Yes, yeah. Because yeah. like you know what went wrong, what was your business that went wrong. So you could like you can sign up to the news. But that must be rough, eh? Doing those post-mortem analyses, oh, that must be. It's kind of tough. But I love it because they're. I'm not going to say celebrating because it, it sounds sure. wrong. Sure. But it, but the point is like this organization. What they do is they're like, we learn from our mistakes. Yes. And instead of yes. sitting there and going, oh, I failed at my business, like, let's share, let's understand yes. what went wrong. Do you want to talk, like, talk about it? Tell us what would you have done differently? What went wrong? What went right? And so it's literally like TED Talks for failed businesses. And they That's do it awesome. globally. They I'm run check like it out. global stuff. If I'm not mistaken, there was one that they ran, they ran in Cape Town, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere along the line. And obviously now I think everything's done online. Um, mm. But but yeah, it's, it's literally like they have F up nights, which is like, come and talk about your failed business. And I think that's so valuable to know because it's like the global community is going, there's value in screwing yes. things up and starting again. Yes. It's not the end of the world. No, um, no. It doesn't mean, yes, it's heartbreaking. Yes, it's hard. We're not taking anything yeah. away from that, but it doesn't define who you are. No. It doesn't mean that you're never going to be a success and, 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 um, I, I love finding stuff like that. I, I, I was so like, you've got to be kidding me. Like, who's going to get up and talk about my failed business? Like, are you mad? Um, but, but like, how valuable is that? You know, to That's, as someone who's starting a business or thinking about it, to go and sit in the back of someone else's and go, okay, so that's what you did. Okay, I won't be doing that. <laughs> I remember and that. I, think, I think one of the cool critical things about being human is we can learn from others. We don't have to go and put our hand no. on the hot stove. We can yeah, see yeah. what happened yeah, to the yeah. guy who did it before us, you know? Like, oh, and especially yeah. if he's willing to tell us, like, how he got to that stage and what he did. It. Exactly. You know, that's... The, yeah. and me, you know, the information is there. That's just it. The information is there. Um, um, it is. And there's just, there's so much more... Um, I'm just saying, you know, if you're if you're an accounting student, you don't have to be going to read articles on Ifris. Like, I could, like, please no. How, no, you know, like, no don't you, that, I mean, if you want no. to, like, go right ahead. I'm I'm super chuffed for you. Like, if that's what you want to do, like, do. But I'll go. Yeah. But like, you know, go 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 look at opportunities. You know, how are people making money these days? Like, you know, I see you you have an you know you put an infographic up a while back on on NFTs. You know, which is something yes, like people yes. are still kind of getting their head around. I, I, 
yes. I kind of have kind of haven't. I'm like semi, what is this now? Yes, um, yes. But again, something that didn't exist last year, you know, and, and is now sort of like the next, is this the next big thing kind of thing? Non-fungible tokens, also bizarre, bizarre. Like, what is this thing? So just, you know, just to get excited about the fact that the world is bigger than we think it is and the world is bigger than what we're given in our accounting text. Yes. Yes. So, oh, yeah, you've yeah. got to get through the stuff. And I understand that it's just like, it's not necessarily the most massive, exciting thing, but mm. prepare your mind, your personality, your thought processes and your mindset for a, like, it is as exciting as you make it for yourself. You know, 100%. like you can make it super exciting for yourself. And that depends on your approach, your mindset, your choices your yes. stuff um not what someone else says and if you are excited about working in the back office of a really big corporation as the, that's cool too i'm not saying that's not exciting i'm just saying like there's more than you know a, a beautiful way 100 percent. i think a really good way that i've learned um i have experienced and i'd like to I, I like to put it i put it in our investing infographic too but i think it applies so much more in life and it's i think it's quite to do is to write down your values, right? It's to really sit and think. No, I know it sounds very airy fairy, right? No, no, but it's no, really it's not. Very no, but I, I know, yeah. and I, I know. But to me, right? Like to me, like for me, one of the things I mean, I really sat, right? And I saw in my own life and experience where was I upset, angry, mm, anxious, what nervous? Moves you? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I realized like one of the things for me, like my key values is freedom. One of my key values is freedom and independence. And therefore, you know, the, 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 the decisions I can therefore make uh, for my life can be tailored around this. So I know it's, it's knowing yourself, right? It's what's important to you is things like uh, maybe traveling often is important to you. So then why, you know, if, 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 if you sit down at 18 and you're like, I like to travel. And I, I'm not saying you should know everything about yourself, but if you think you know you like things, right? Say, I like yeah. to travel. I've experienced this. It's the process then, of learning to ask yourself these questions. Yes. They're not going to stay the and, same forever. No, but yeah. then don't go and direct yourself in a, in a career path that's going to make you sit in an office the whole day, you know? Like, mm -hmm. you've done that self assessment You say, this is what I like. Then take the chances and the movement towards Think about how yourself. to do that, yeah. Exactly. If you know family is important to you, you know, that you want to start a family that yeah. then you can take the steps towards ensuring that, mm. you know, and, and you can ensure and that, that aligns. And I think psychologically, yeah. when you take actions that align with your values, Very who true. you are, it, 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 it really, it ends up yeah. being even better and more positive. Whoa. And you Ooh. just, you just want to, <laughs> you just want to move forward and continue. Yeah. And it's, yeah. it's self um, promoting, you know, it is. So, but and, it's, and it's, it is. I think that's, that's so true. And, and, and you, you know, you kind of, you kind of said it's, it's airy fairy, but it's really not. If you take a look at like the most well-respected books on personal growth and development, both professionally and personally, that is a very big component of most of them. Like the mm, seven habits mm, of, of, of most effective people mm, and all that crap mm, mm. that's in there. You know, where they're like, mm. you need to sit down and think about your values. What do you value? Yes, What's yes, important to you? Yes. And um, most people I talk to, they're kind of like, their approach is I'm waiting to see or find a job that jumps out at me as like my dream yes. job, you know? So it's like, yes. I'm waiting yes. for that job posting or one day yes. I'm hoping for a recruitment agency or a job posting yes. that will be like, this is my dream job. And yes. then I'll find my passion. You know, I'm waiting to no. find my passion. And the reality is that it's, 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 it's easier to get there if you start identifying, as you say, what your values are, where your energies lie, um, yes. what gives you energy when you do it versus what takes away energy. And, and this um, Mel Robbins is like one of my favorite, one of my favorite people. And she speaks about the same thing. She's like, stop looking for your passion and start identifying what types of things energize you and what types yes. of things drain you. So if speaking to people on a constant basis, if interacting with people drains you, then you understand that whatever you're doing needs to be moved towards working on your own. You know, if, if, if dealing with numbers drains you, then you need to kind of stay away from stuff that's dealing with numbers, but figure out where your energy is built, your passion, your excitement, like what energizes you and that. Paying attention, like your values, you know, paying attention to that helps you go, these are the types of things that I should gravitate towards. And these are the types of situations I should stay away from. Yes, um, I think so. You know, yes. Because that is where you will develop and find your 
passion is the stuff that energizes you. But, you know, and that, I, I love that advice because so many people I know is like, but like, how do I find my passion? You know, like, how do I find my dream job? And, and it is, it's a comp, it is like, I don't, you know, people, my, you know, so many of my students that are sitting there, they go like, how do I know what I want to do when I qualify? You don't, but it's, it's a really good thing. It's really valuable for you to sit right now once a year, twice a year, and sit down yes. and go, what, what really moves me? What excites yes. me? And what yes. really bugs me? And what drains me? And what irritates me? Um, for me, you know, teaching people and talking yes. to them and mm. like helping them develop their next step in their career or like helping them move past stuff is really energizing. Um, yes. And I love that. And that's kind of like what I've designed. And interestingly, although my, my husband was, was also a lecturer, um, he found that excruciating, you know, when students yes. came to him and they were like, oh, I'm really struggling with my studying. So many, like long before we were married or even dating, he was like, mm, go and speak to Yvonne. <laughs> if it's not an Everest question, <laughs> if it's not an Everest question, Yvonne's the one you want to speak to. So, so many students would come to me and they'd be like, Richard said, and I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> because he was really energized by Everest yes. problems. Yes. And I yes. was really energized by like, I understand your mental challenges and your stresses around yes. like, you know, yes. your life and family. Blah, blah, blah. And that's guided my decisions around what I do and don't do with my life, you know, and that's kind that's of important. what I've created. That's important. So, that's yeah, I really, yeah, I really like that. Like, whatever, wherever you are in your journey at the moment, sit down and write what energizes you, yes. your values. Mm. Um, and then keep that with you and, and start, start aligning your decisions as you yes. make them with like, is this going to get me closer to that or further away? And, and in some cases it has to, you know, if you're going to do three years of articles, that probably doesn't align with your values. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but, no, but, but maybe in the be overall done. picture. No, but maybe like, in the overall yeah, picture it does. Once it's yes. done, I'll it's, be able yes. to get, you know, so it's like, that's what I want. I got to do that in order to get there, yes. you know, whatever yes. the case is. But yeah, I, I really like, I don't, I don't oh. like, I don't, it's not airy fairy at all. It's that, in fact, it's a lot oh. more difficult than people. <laughs> no, people it is. Person. It is. Yeah. No, it is. Your profession, your background, your skills gives you the opportunity, the advantage of being able to choose Yes. Yeah, that, like, yes. You know, yes. You, yes. You're yes. able to kind of go yes. like, I value freedom, yes. and so therefore I'm going to yes. make these choices. There's yes. always an opportunity cost. Yes. Yeah, always an opportunity. So by Very you well choosing yeah. freedom mm. and mm. your entrepreneurship, mm. you're missing mm. out on performance bonuses. You know. Hundred percent. Like steady income. You're steady absolutely. Income, performance yeah. bonuses, yeah. sick leave, benefits. You know, you're missing out on 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 the title. Absolutely. You're missing out on. You know, so yeah, like there's always an opportunity cost. There's no question, oh. but we have to decide cost versus benefit for ourselves oh. um, because we, when we make those sacrifices, we need to make sure that we're making sacrifices that we're prepared to make. Yes. You know, like, yes. am I prepared to make the sacrifice? Don't find yourself six years later going, actually, <laughs> I gave up on my family yes. time. And uh, it wasn't worth it. Plug from society's expectations. Unplug from yes, like, yes, uh, yes, you know, yes, I'm a woman yes. and so therefore I am not allowed to be a full-time yes, mom yes. or I shouldn't be a full-time mom. I'm saying yes very confidently, but yes. No, no, no but yes. it is. It's, it's just, we buy into society's expectations of who we're supposed to be and what success looks like. I think we do. But success do. looks like you being happy with your choices from now to the future and you understanding that your choices align with the life that you want so that you don't have regrets later. And whether that's being having a half day job so that you can spend more time with your kids or yes. you know, working 24 hours a day because you want to build that business, that is your choice and society yes. is to back yes. the hell off. And hey man, you, tell need, him like, you need to unplug tell that him. rubbish. Like you need to unplug that yeah. rubbish, you know, because mm. success mm. is what you want mm. your life to look like to make you happy every day. What are you happy to get out of bed to do? That's, I think so. I think that's so. success. Like it, there's always going to be struggles. There's always going to be challenges. There's always going to be yes. tough stuff. Mm. But like, mm. what are the tough stuff? Choose your tough stuff. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. I think so. Yeah. 100%. I think we, I, I've got, a, I've got a student call at, 
in, in, in 10 minutes that I, that I need to, oh that goodness, I need to take. Yeah. Um, I am super chuffed about the conversation that we have. I, I think there's so much more that we can discuss and I kind of foresee us doing some more of these as time goes on oh my because God, I think we've got ahead. some like really oh, exciting fine. topics. And obviously, nah. hopefully we'll get, you know, hopefully we'll get comments from, from, from people and students and other people kind of sure. saying, can sure. you just I'm going to blast this everywhere, yeah. to be honest, like, yeah, I'm going to share this. So, like, like, yeah. All this, yeah so. We've had a, like, there's been a lot of discussion, so I'll take a look yeah. and figure out how to break it up and how to put it you, out so that we can like separate them. But I am so grateful for your time. Um, I'm so grateful for your openness and your honesty and your enthusiasm. Um, and yeah, I think... Uh, I'm super excited about your your business. I'm super excited about your product. Very excited about the fact that it's going to make my life a lot easier. Like, <laughs> not going to lie. It is. Yes, it <laughs> very is. Very excited about that. Okay. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for, for, for your time. And um, hopefully we shall continue more of these fascinating discussions as time goes on. Yvonne, thank you so much for, I told you this for me was an incredible experience. Um, not only was it like so insightful and enlightening just listening to you, like I said, I'm a long time fan, oh, you know, long time, re no, long time reader. I've been oh, following your it. blog and your stuff so when I was in campus, failing, when I was failing third year. Oh, um, no, really. <laughs> and no, I found, actually, I think I found your blog in third year 2.0. And it just resonated from them, to be honest with you. Like, oh, so you know, the insights you give. And like, I mean, I, I, I really to this day. So thank you so much. This has been such a great experience from my side. I, I really enjoyed our conversation. Talking with you is a lot of fun. Um, it is it's cool to see. Yeah, no, it's cool to see where the ideas can go. Yeah. And, you know, the similarities. So thank you. Thank you for your time. Oh, thank you. Um, whatever you, you, you make of this, that's fine. Uh, whatever happens in the future, um, I'm just grateful thank you so much yeah. and thank i've had you, a yeah. great time, Me I, too. time. Yeah. Thank you we, I think we can carry on chatting for hours <laughs> no yeah yeah it's fine no all the best with your student thank you so much uh, thank you for a pleasure. Your and we shall we shall chat again soon cool no problem have a great rest of your evening